Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope you'd be fine. Cambridge Lower Secondary Book 7 में chapter number 9 sequences and functions आज हम start किया है. तो आज हम कुछ basic सी बाते करेंगे sequence से related कैसे sequences को generate किया जाता है और उसके कौन से keywords हैं सारी चीजों को हम discuss करेंगे. ठीक है तो स्टार्ट करते हैं आज अपनी वीडियो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन से वीडियो एंड तक देखिएगा स्किप मत कीजिएगा और प्लीज अगर अच्छी लगा करी वीडियो तो लाइक किया करें और चैनल पर अगर आप नए हैं तो जरूर सब्सक्राइब कर लिया करें तो यहां पर बच्चों सबसे पहले मैं अपने सामने एक सीक्वेंस रख रही हूं लाइक थ्री सिक्स नाइन ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन एंड सो ऑन सीक्वेंस के अंदर हमारे पास क्या होता है कि कोई पैटर्न फॉलो हो रहा होता है अब ये हमारे पास एक सीक्वेंस ऑफ नंबर है इसमें हर नंबर को हम एक टर्म कहते हैं ठीक है तो पहले ही जो नंबर होता है उसको कहते हैं टर्म वन फिर सेकेंड टर्म को कहते हैं सेकेंड टर्म थर्ड टर्म फोर्थ टर्म फिफ्थ टर्म इस तरह से हम इनको नाम देते हैं ठीक है अच्छा अब जो टर्म्स एक दूसरे को फॉलो करी होती है यानी एक के बाद जो दूसरी टर्म आती है उसको हम क्या कहते हैं कंजेकेटिव टर्म यानी फर्स्ट और सेकंड कंजेकेटिव टर्म्स होंगी ठीक है इसी तरह से सेकंड और थर्ड कंजेकेटिव होंगे यानी एक के बाद जो दूसरी टर्म आती है उसको हम कहते हैं कंजेकेटिव जैसे मंडे ट्यूजडे कंजेकेटिव डेज है ठीक है इसी तरह से जनवरी फेबररी कंजेकेटिव मंथ्स है तो इसी तरह से हमारे पास इसके अंदर जो एक के बाद दूसरी टर्म होती है उसको हम कहते हैं कंजेकेटिव ठीक है अच्छा उसके बाद अब यहां पर हमारे पास टर्म टू टर्म रूल फॉलो होता है यानी ऐसा नहीं है कि हम पहली टर्म में कुछ भी नंबर लिख दें दूसरी टर्म में कुछ भी नंबर लिख दें नहीं हमारे पास यहां पर हर दो कंजेकेटिव टर्म्स के बीच में कोई एक रूल फॉलो होगा जैसे कि अगर आप यहां पर देखें हमारे पास तो यहां पर हमारे पास ईच टर्म इज थ्री मोर देन द टर्म बिफोर इट मीन्स द टर्म टू टर्म रूल इज टू एड थ्री We can say that in this one, in this sequence, we have followed the rule of adding three into the previous term. This is called term-to-term -term rule, right? This is something very important. We have to follow in the sequence. And then you can see at the end of a sequence there are three dots, right? So these three dots are called um the, the these are the ellipses this shows at the end of a sequence that the sequence continues forever it is continuing till forever that is you can find out any term in this sequence and this is an infinite sequence but if there is there are no three dots at the end of a sequence then it doesn't continue forever and this type of sequence is called a finite sequence so there we can say that there are two types of sequences infinite and finite infinite sequence is expressed using the, these three dots and if there are no three dots at the end of a sequence it means it's a finite sequence right this is all about sequences now let's start with question number one of this exercise and let's find out what's in there. It says copy and complete the workings to find the term to term rule and the next, next three terms of each sequence. In question number one, you can see there are four numbers which is followed by three dots and ellipses. It means it's, a, uh, it's, it's an infinite sequence. So 7, 11, 15 and then 19. And if we look up between the two consecutive terms, we'll find that between each two terms, there is a gap of four. Every time we are adding four into the previous term to find the followed term, right? So what would be the uh, term to term rule to add four? When we got to know what is the term to term rule, we can find the next two, three, four, five and so on terms. Like if we have to find out what comes after 19, we will simply add four into it and we will come to know that 19 plus four equals to 23. So the next term after 19 would be 23. And similarly, if we have to find out further, so we'll again add four into 23 and we'll get to know that the next term would be 27. So the next two terms are 23 and 27, right? This is how we can find out the term to term rule and the next two terms. Similarly, 40, 35, 30, 25. In this sequence, you can find that the numbers are decreasing from the previous one. It means there is a subtraction rule that is followed. So what do we have to do? We have to find out how much do we have to subtract between the two terms to find out the next term. So if you look at 40 and 35, there is a 
reduction of 5. Similarly, 35 minus 5 gives us 5, 30. Then 30 minus 5 equals to 25. Every time we are subtracting 5 from the previous one. So the term to term rule is 25. And we will have to write subtract 5. Okay. We will write add 4 or subtract 5. We have to mention what operation is followed over here. So the next two terms would be 25 minus 5 equals to 20. And then 20 minus 5 equals to 15. So here comes the next two terms that are 20 and 15. You see, this is how we have to follow the sequence. Okay, let's do a few more questions. Question number in question number two again, we have been provided with a few sequences, and we have to find out the term to term rule for each sequence and then the next two terms. So let us start with the first one: two, four, six, eight. If we look at the two terms, we'll find that there is an addition of two. So the term to term rule equals to add two. So what we will do, we will add 8 with 2, we will get 10, 10 plus 2 is 12. Then part B, 1, 4, 7, 10, and so on. So if you look at the first two numbers, we'll find that there is an addition of 3. So the rule would be to add 3, right? So what we will do, we will add 10, uh, we will add 3 with 10, we will get 13. Further 3, we will get 16. The next two terms would be 13 and 16, right? Achha, next, we have part C. In part C, it's 5, 9, 13, 17, and so on. So if we look at the first two terms, there is an addition of 4. So the rule says add 4. What we will do? We'll simply add 4 in 17. We'll get 21. Further 4 will add in 21. We'll get 25. So the next two terms are 21 and 25. Right? Achaji. Next we have question number uh, 2 part D. 3, 88, um, 13, 18 and so on. So I think this time we have to add 5. So the rule is to add 5. 8 plus 5, 13, 13 plus 5, 18, 18 plus 5 equals to 23, 23 plus 5 equals to 28. Similarly, we have 30, 28, 26. This time the numbers are reducing with the previous one. It means we are subtracting a number and each time we are subtracting 2 because there is a gap of 2. 30 minus 2 is 28. 28 minus 2 is 26, 26 minus 2 is 24, 24 minus 2 would be 22, and then minus 2 is 20. So the rule would be subtract 2. And for the part F, 17, 14, 11, 8, now you have to give me the answer to this one in the comment section. Now, in question number three, we are already provided with the first term for every part. And then what we have to do, we have to follow this term to term rule and find out the first three terms of each of the sequence. So if the first term is one and we have to follow the term to term rule of add five. So what would be the first three terms after the first term given? It would be one plus five equals to six. Six plus five equals 11. 11 plus five equals 16, right? Similarly, if there is a rule that is to subtract 7 and the first term is given as 45. So what do we have to do? We have to subtract 7 from the given term. 45 minus 7 is 38. 38 minus 7 is 31. And then 31 minus 7 is 24. You see what we are doing? We are provided with the first term. We just have to subtract or add the given term uh, in the given one, right? Then we have 6 and we have to multiply it by 2. So sometimes the sequence follows the pattern of multiplication and division as well. So 6 multiplied by 2 equals 12. 12 multiplied by 2 equals 24. 24 multiplied by 2 equals 48. Right? This is what we are doing in every term. 6 twos are 12. 12 twos are 24, 24 twos are 48. This is what we are doing. 
Next, we have been provided with 60 and now we have to divide it by 2. So let's see what would be the answer. 60 divided by 2 is 30. Right? If we will divide 60 by 2, we will get 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6 and 0. Then when we will divide 30 by 2, what we will get? 15. And if we will divide further 15 by 2, what do we get since it's not an uh, even number. So what we will do, we will convert it into mixed number. Either we will write it down as 7.5 or we can write it as 7 whole 1 upon 2. Both are correct. Writing it down in the fraction form would be more appropriate. Now, in question number 4, using the term rule, we have to find out the missing terms in the finite sequences. Now, how we will figure out? We will look for the two consecutive numbers that are given to us, figure out the term to term rule from there, and then we'll incorporate that term to term rule in the filling uh, boxes, right? So if we look at the first two terms of part A, it is two and five. So what is the term rule followed over here? Two and five, there is an addition of two, three. So it means you just have to add 3 into 5 to find out the next term, which would be 8. Right? Then if we look for the next number, 8 plus 3 is 11, it means the sequence we have followed is absolutely correct. Then we'll further add 3 into it. It becomes 11 plus 3 is 14. And we will check for the next two numbers that in 14 plus 3 is 17, 17 plus 3 is 20. It means the answers are correct. Then we'll look for part B, 5, 11, 17. So if we look at 5 and 11, what do we add in 5? We have to add 6 to get 11. 5 plus 6 is 11. It means we have to follow the rule of adding 11 into the previous term to find the follower term. 11 plus 6 equals to 17. 17 plus 6. Now we have to add seven, uh, 6 into 17. We will get 23. Then we will again add 6 into 23. We will get 29. 29 plus 6 is 35. That means the sequence is followed correctly. Then 35 plus 6 equals to 41. Next, we have part C, 26, 23. It means the numbers are reducing from the previous one. How much are they reducing? If we look at them, 26 minus 3. It means we have to subtract 3 from the previous term to find the follower term. 26 minus 3, 23. 23 minus 3, 20. 20 minus 3, 17. 17 minus 3, 14. 14 minus 3, 11. 11 minus 3, 8. Then 90, 82. Again, there is a reduction. So how much do we have to subtract? We have to subtract 8. Because 90 minus 8 equals to 82. So the term followed would be subtract 8. 90 minus 8 is 82. 82 minus 8 is 74. 74 minus 8 is 66. 66 minus 8 is 58. 58 minus 8 is 50. 50 minus 8 is 42. Okay. Next, we are provided with 8 and there is no number consecutive to it. So it means we have to look for the rule from 32 and 40. There is an addition because after 32, a number followed is bigger than that. It means we have to add 8 into the previous terms to find the followed term. What we will do for the first term, we will add 8 into 8. It gives us 16. So the second term would be 16. 16 plus 8 equals to 24. It means we have to just read out the table of 8. 8 ones are 8. 8 twos are 16. 8 threes are 24. 8 fours are 32. 8 fives are 40. 8 six are 48. 8 sevens are 56. What are we doing? We are just adding 8 every time into the followed term. Next, we are provided with the third and fourth term. First and second are missing. What we have to do? We have to find out what is the term to term rule over here from 28 the number has been reduced to 23 it means there is a reduction we have to subtract in the first term to find the second one that is the followed one and how much is the reduction if we subtract 5 into 28 we will get 23 or you can check it by subtracting the number given that is if you subtract 23 by 28 you will get 5 it means this has to be subtracted every time. So what we will do to find out the previous term since there is no first term given. So what we will do if we are going backward, it means we have to add 5 into them, right? If we are going forward, we will have to subtract. If we'll go backward, then we have to add. So 28 plus 5 equals to 33 and 33 plus 5 equals to 38. And now if you will check from the first term, 
you will find the correct answer that is 38 minus 5 is 33, 33 minus 5 is 28, 28 minus 5 is 23, 23 minus 5 is 18, 18 minus 5 is 13, 13 minus 5 is 8. So you see, this is how we can find out the previous terms as well. So whatever the rule is followed for the following term, that is the terms coming afterwards, it would be reverse. It would be the inverse if we have to go backwards. That is if we have to find out what are the terms earlier. Now look at question number five. It's very easy. You just have to figure out if the sequences are finite or infinite. So just look for the three dots. If there are three dots, it's an infinite sequence. If there are no three dots, it means it's a finite one. So if we look for part A, there are three dots. It means it is infinite. And if you look for part B, there is no three dots. That is, it is finite. Third one is again finite. And the last one is infinite. Right, so you just have to mention if the given uh, sequence is finite or not. Next, we have question number six in which we have to write down the first three terms of each of these sequences. The first one has been started for you. First term is four, term to term rule is multiply by two, then add one. Now, for the terms given in this question, two types of term rule are given. First, we have to multiply the given number by two and then we have to add one into it. Like the first term is given, four multiplied by two is eight, eight plus one is nine. So the next term would be nine. You see, so after nine, it comes nine multiplied by two is 18, 18 plus one is 19. 19 would be the third term. Then 19 multiplied by two is 38, 38 plus one equals to 39. This is how we will figure out the given terms. So the first term is 4. Second term is given also. That is 9. Third term would be 9 multiplied by 2 plus 1 equals to 39. Um, sorry. 9 multiplied by 2 equals 18. 18 plus 1, 19. Third term is 19. Okay, first we are going to write 9 multiplied by 8, which is 18, and then we will add 1. So it becomes 19. Right? Achha. So for, we just have to write down the first three terms. And since there are three terms already given, 4, 9, and 19, it means we do not have to go any further. First term is already given. We have to write down the second and the third term. So if first term is 10, we will write it as first term equals to 10. Second term would be the rule will be followed according to the given one. The term to, rule, term, to term rule is subtract 8 then multiply by 6. So what do we have to do? We will subtract 10 by 8 first. We will get 2. Then we will multiply it by 6. 2, 6 are 12. So the second term would be 12. Now we'll work for the third term the same way. So the third term would be 12 minus 8, which is 4. Now we will multiply 4 by 6. We will get 24. So the first term is 10. Second term is 12. Third term is 24. Okay. Achha. Next we have to go for part C. First term is 24. We'll do the same. That is first term is 24. Then we have to work for the second term. What do we have to do? We have to divide 24 by 2 and then we have to add 4 into it. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Now we will add 4 into it. It becomes 16. So the second term is 16. Now similarly, we have to work for the third term. Third term would be again 16 upon 2 is 8. 8 plus 4 equals to 12. So the third term would be 12. So these are the three terms for the part C. So... Here we have uh, completed till question number six in this video and we are going to do a few more in the next video. So stay tuned. Take care. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe to my channel. Take care. Allah Hafiz.